Good morning, everybody. This is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. You can see my websites at WorldTVOnDemand.com and Jackson Appliance Repair Orlando.com. I'll post the links down below. A couple other links that I think you might be interested in is SnoopWall.com and then Thing Charger. A couple of things that I've run across on the internet that make sense and. Uh, I'll put links down below and you can check them out. They're pretty cool. Um, also, I wanted to pose a question to you because I don't know the answer. But Hillary on her uh, emails. Now, wait a minute. Don't be clicking off because I mentioned Hillary. Just stay right here with me. I'm going to make it short. She was Secretary of State. Stay with me now. So when she was in charge of all that stuff in Benghazi or whatever she was doing, I, you know, um, can you be Secretary of State and send and receive emails for your tenure as Secretary of State and never receive a classified document? That's all I'm asking. Can you can you hold that position? And if you're sending and receiving thousands and thousands of emails, can you hold that position and not receive a classified, even one classified email? Okay, we'll go on one time. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to, to show you is um, my daughter's cell phone. She left it in the bathroom at Target. Blah. She's old enough to know better. And somebody stole it. So, and we have not recovered it yet. But in searching for ways to recover, I found found out that Android um, has built-in locators for phones and tablets. So wait just a second, I'm gonna grab my tablet and show you something. Well, let me see if it's going to come on this morning because I, uh, I haven't had it on in a while. Uh, let me see if I can do this right. So you turn on your tablet, put in your password or whatever. You click on all apps and you go to Google settings. Google settings. And then in Google settings, it's going to come up to all this, all this stuff here. I'll show you all this stuff here. And then you click on security. Now when security comes up, uh, you want to make sure that remote location, this device, and allow remote lock and erase of your device is turned on. So, if you have those on, I'm going to show you the website you go to that you can locate your device. Now, the way this works, that I found out, and, and I, I downloaded apps, and I tried to do different things that really didn't look that easy to use to me, and this came off as super easy to use. So, anyway, let's go to the computer, and I'm going to show you how to locate device and you don't have to download anything um, it's 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 all in your settings and then I'm gonna show you let's just go to the to the computer now when you go to your computer you go and Google Android device manager okay and so and you're gonna click on Android device manager and when you do that, it's going to bring you to a login page. And this is my login page with my email address and my password. And you click sign in. So once you do that, it's going to start locating the device, which this is my cell phone, my XT1032. That's my cell phone. And that's my location. Well, what's so cool about this thing is you can click on this little tab on the corner here 
And if you have more than one devices, like my tablet, you just click on the tablet, and then it's going to locate the tablet. And see, it's right there. So, but you can, you can, I'm not going to go through these settings. Uh, some other people in other videos do, but they're self-explanatory. The ring, you just click on it, and it'll ring your device, whether it's your tablet that you've lost in the house and you're trying to find or you know it's, you left it at a restaurant or something somewhere and you're trying to find it lock when you click on lock you're going to add a password to your device and you can also add a message telling them that your device is lost or stolen and please return it to wherever they found it in the lost and found or whatever and then if all else fails you can erase the whole device by clicking here and, and following the directions so um, for the cell phone it's the same thing but just to show you that this works uh, here's my little tab my Nexus tablet I'll put it right here and I'm going to click ring and it's going to come up and ask you ring device and you'll say ring the ringer off so you found your device but now you're asking I, I did I miss a step I mean how do you connect this device to this page okay I'm gonna answer that um, when you get your Android device or your phone in order to download stuff from the Google Play Store you have to put in an email address and password so when you put in your email address and password for all your devices, hopefully you're going to use the same email address and password uh, and to download stuff from Google Play Store. And people don't even know that you have this app installed on your phone or device. And, uh, and it will compile them here and show you the devices that you've got installed, like I have two installed. And... Um, and that's how you do it. When you do that and you put in your name and password for uh, your Google page, which is now it's everything. It's, uh, um, well, it's your app store and Google and all that. You know, they go by your same email address. So anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. And the last thing I want to bring up is the stock market this morning is going to be woohoo it's down last time i checked the futures were down like 700 points which is four percent but it'll go down and it'll go up but it's going to go down so um good luck with all that i hope this was helpful to you please give me a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to the web page and i'll have another video for you soon this is harold with world tv on demand.com and Jackson Appliance Repair Orlando.com and we're located in Apopka, Florida outside of Orlando, Florida. So have a good day and I will talk to you later.